Hi, this is Dan May from Ramsack and welcome to this, the latest in my series of blog posts about getting the most out of your Office 365 subscription. Today I want to look at Microsoft Planner, uh, which is a tool that is uh, free to use in most Office 365 subscription types, a web-based tool that is designed to help people planning projects. Um, so uh, the first time you want to use this then I suggest that you go to your Office 365 sign-in account and if you search on your um, available applications you will find Planner here uh, and uh, generally speaking what I've done is I've just saved then the web address for my my Planner account uh, which is what I'm in now so here is the Planner view this is me signed into Office 365 um, and I can see the plans that I'm a part of or that have been shared with me but uh, I'm just going to quickly create a new plan simply by pressing the plus button on the side I'm going to give the plan a name so example Office Move Plan um, and I'm going to decide whether this is a plan that is available to anybody within my organization or whether I just want to share this with particular people and uh, as soon as I've done that uh, I just click on create the plan uh, and it'll just take a, a couple of moments. Um, we use Planner across our organization. We have some company-wide plans that we use on various customer projects um, and then we have some department plans. So for example, I run our commercial department here at Ramsack and we have a team-wide plan that just is broken down into various tasks that we all want to achieve over uh, the quarter or over the month. Um, the layout looks a little bit confusing when you first start to use it, but it, it really is quite simple. It starts off with um, the glamorously titled buckets. So buckets are essentially columns or groups of tasks that might be linked. So um, I can give this bucket a name. So I can, uh, this is an example for an office move. So let's just say uh, this one is around uh, landlord and estate agent uh, tasks. Um, I might create a bucket for um, uh, first stage office fit, fit out um, there, and uh, I can create um, another task over here, another, sorry, just expand my window there, uh, another bucket here, which might be, um, uh, so uh, internal fit. Uh, you get the idea. This could be about literally anything you wanted to have in mind. So I create my uh, my plan with uh, with the relevant buckets. So in this case, as I say an office move. Equally, uh, this might be a marketing plan. This could be a you know a customer project broken down into different stages. Um, and then within each bucket, I create a series of master tasks. So there's a little plus sign here. So first stage office fit out, I'm going to create a task and let's just say we're going to call this um, uh, aircon uh, and I might create another one. Um, so I just click on add to task, create another one here which I might call um, cabling. Uh, and so on and so forth. Um, I can also uh, in this option here I can decide which colleagues I want to be part of um, this particular plan. So I can start to invite um, Sally Cooper who is our operations director. I could invite uh, James Little who is our operations manager so on and so forth. So I could start to build up the team of people working on this plan. So now if I've uh, I've got my sort of my first stage office fit out bucket, I've got two tasks that I've created. One of those is cabling, one of those is aircon. So let's click on cabling and I can say, right, cabling is going to be the responsible of James, responsibility of James. Um, nothing started yet. Uh, this has to be finished by the, oh, why not give him Christmas Day, 25th of December. Um, and then I can start to create some subtasks within this. So I can say um, appoint main contractor. I can say um, carry out a site survey, um, agree hardware, requirements um, and um, agree training 
timeline. And I can, uh, using this button here, I can show all of these tasks on the main card. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. I can add any attachments. I can make some comments um, to James, who's going to get this as a task. Um, I could give him a description. I could, I could color code it with a label. Um, and there we go. So now when I go back to my project board, I can see that within this cabling, it's got its color coded label. It's assigned to James. He's completed zero of four tasks. He's got until the 25th of December to do so, and he's got his list. So he can come in now and say, right, well, I've appointed the main contractor, and that will just disappear. I can now see that he's completed one of four of these subtasks. I could do the same uh, over here with uh, the aircon. Um, I could say, well, I'm going to assign this one to Sally. And I could say, uh, again, site survey, appoint contractor, agree, locations, whatever it might be. Show them on the card. This might be a, a green task. Uh, you can you can add names to these labels if you use that kind of system. Um, and I might say, well, she's got until the 31st of January to complete that. Um, and then again, we've got all these tasks sat under under aircon. Um, that's it really. So I carry on going through, I create as many buckets as I like, as many tasks as I like, and as many subtasks within those tasks. Um, I can see if I go onto the chart that um, I've got two tasks outstanding. Neither of them have been started yet, but they're not late either. Um, and I can see a bit of a breakdown as to as to where people are. Um, whether they're whether I've got particular individuals who are overtasked or really running behind. Um, as I've created those tasks now, Sally and James will have both received an email in their inbox telling them that they've got tasks due or, or tasks that have been created. When we're coming close to their deadlines, they'll get a reminder in Outlook to tell them that they've got tasks that are almost due. And if they're overrunning, they'll get a reminder in Outlook to say that they've got late or overdue tasks as well. So that's it. It's uh, Microsoft Planner. It can be integrated with lots of other tools and features of Office 365. And check out our blog post on Microsoft Teams to see how, in particular, it works really well as part of a team structure. But you can use that as a very simple online planning tool uh, available via your own Office 365 app collection. I hope that was useful. Uh, there's other blogs uh, around Office 365 and general IT use for uh, small and medium businesses on our blog at www.ramsac.com. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch either via our website or by calling us on 01483 412 040. Thanks for your time today. Many thanks.